Hey, what's going on everyone? Mike here, Mike's House of Mods. I hope you're having a good day and I am so close to being finished with the turbo build on my Saturn Sky with the 2.4 engine. And as you saw in the last video, I updated the um, ECU with the new tune and it was running really, really good. I even took it to autocross on Sunday and it ran very well there as well. The problem is I'm still not getting all of the boost that I'm supposed to be getting. I'm getting you know, between 5 and 7 uh, pounds of boost. I should be getting between 8 and 10 pounds. Uh, and probably the problem is, and I believe the problem is, is the spring in the wastegate. Let me go ahead and kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Here's the wastegate uh, that's attached to the exhaust manifold and downpipe. And not to get too technical, there's a lot of videos that give you all kinds of information on what a wastegate, what a wastegate does. That's easier for me to say. But actually it kind of regulates the amount of uh, exhaust going through the turbo because if you have all tur all the exhaust going through there's going to be too much boost and you're either going to blow the engine or the blow the turbo out of there. So what this wastegate does kind of regulates how much pressure is going in there and vents some of the exhaust back through the downpipe um, if there's too much boost going on. So it has different springs in there, actually it has one spring in there, or maybe two, and I'm not sure what this one has. And you can actually change the springs, I have the extra springs here that it came with. Uh, so you can adjust the amount of boost that this thing will allow to happen. So right now I was told by the original owner of this turbo that it has a three pound um, or three PSI spring rate that's in there. So um, basically the most it's going to give me is three pounds of boost. And then you have the uh, boost controller here that can up it as well. Uh, I've heard different comments from different people. I I've, I've heard it, it can double it, which maybe gives, gives me the max of six. Um, but if I change that spring and I have a little stronger spring in there, then I can have my eight to 10 that I'm really looking for and adjust it with the, uh, the boost controller as well. What I need to do is go and change that spring. And also I got another tune from my tuner guy um, to kind of make up for that extra spring rate that's going in there. And uh, put another tune into the ECU. He says, uh, go for it as far as full throttle uh, takeoffs and full throttle everything. And uh, we're gonna look at the numbers once I do the data log. And if he needs to make more adjustments, we will do that. So. Uh, what I need to do first, like I said, is I'm going to go and um, get that spring out of there and put a new one in and uh, hopefully uh, this is going to work. Now the tricky part as far as getting the spring out of here, you can see there's actual um, little bolts here, kind of hold it all the way going around and obviously there's a strong spring uh, that's inside there. So normally what you would do is you take this whole thing off and do it on a table or on a vise or something like that. Um, but I'm not going to do that because that looks like too, more work than it really needs to be. So. With the help of my wife, I'm going to have, um, oops, I almost dropped the spring there. I'm going to go ahead and loosen most of these except for maybe two. And one of us is going to hold this spring, hold this cap down so the spring doesn't come flying up at us and uh, knock us in the face or anything like that. So hopefully that's going to work. And uh, once I figure out what spring is in there and compare it to these other ones, I'm going to put one in there that, that feels stronger. Unfortunately, these really aren't marked as far as what the, uh, the pound is. So I'm going to kind of wing it, I guess I hate to say that. I'm going to kind of wing it, go from there, and then push this um, push this back on top of there with the spring. Hopefully that'll work and start tightening it back down again. So let me go and get my wife so we can get this thing done. All right, so obviously we have an issue here and it's probably a heat problem. You can just tell how discolored this is and how dark that is that, uh, that it's a problem. And it's probably not that expensive of a wastegate to begin with, um, but that is not good and that's probably a problem with all my boost. But uh, basically what a wastegate does is as you're getting more and more pressure from the turbo, if it's too much, then this thing opens up 
and like I said the exhaust is going to then go down through the downpipe but that diaphragm is kind of in between here and it kind of works it so that it's all sealed and, and good to go which obviously mine is not look at that that's a mess so um, I'm going to go ahead and order a new wastegate and once that comes in get that thing installed and um, choose whatever spring to begin with and make sure that's right uh, as well so going to uh, put this uh, video on pause for a second go order that and when it comes in go and install the new wastegate two days later okay it has arrived the new wastegate is here uh, I will admit it is the uh, one of the cheaper ones you can buy on eBay or whatever um, and the reason I did that it's actually an exact hookup of the other one even the other one went bad I think it was more of a heat problem that that had uh, than a uh, manufacturing problem so I'm gonna go install this it was cheap enough that if this goes bad I can just go and get another one that is more expensive but this was about I don't know 60 bucks or something with shipping and everything uh, if you get something like a tile or whatever those are like two three four hundred dollars so um, I'm gonna try this one out and it says what's really interesting is it actually says on the um, the description that it comes with 14 pound springs actually uh, I believe a six and an eight inside but then all of a sudden here's two springs in here as well so I don't know if they gave me extra springs and what they are and these ones are in here as well um, so I'm going to take this apart see what's already in there because the most I can have in here is an eight pound spring and then I can use my boost controller if I want to go up to 10 but uh, so I'm going to take that apart real quick see what springs are in there it also comes with the clamps that are used uh, to attach to the exhaust manifold and some fittings in here too for the vacuum lines and stuff like that. So I might just use the vacuum lines that are already on the old one. Like I said, it's kind of pretty much a direct exact same one that I have. So I might just be able to unscrew the other one, screw them into this, which would make it really easy as well. So uh, the first thing I need to do, like I said, I'm going to take this top off, see what's already in here in the spring. Check it out as well. The main problem people are saying they're having is again with the diaphragm. Just check the diaphragm in here, make sure everything is uh, is looking good. And if so, I'm going to go and remove the other one from the uh, that I still have installed and put this one in its place. All right, got a clamp down here and I'm going to use my Allen wrench to remove these, uh, actually it's a three, I believe three millimeter, to remove these little screws here. I kind of have it clamped down, not as good as I thought I did, as we can see, let me take this thing up here. at least get them loose um, before I clamp it down again to let the spring up. sides I think that's all of them all right now I'll clamp it down Trying to keep the spring, there's one in there, which I think there is, from uh, jumping up on me. So there are two springs in there, as you can see here. So that must be the uh, the two they're talking about. One's a six and one's an eight. And then they gave these other two, which I don't know if those are sixes and eights too. Unfortunately, this company 
doesn't color coordinate them either. So uh, I guess just kind of pushing down on it, we'll see what uh, what I think one is the other. And then once I have it in there, I can check the boost and stuff like that. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go and see which ones I'm gonna use. Check this thing out. Here is the diaphragm. Here's a diaphragm that went bad on me before. And uh, actually looks in pretty good shape. I'll get a closer look at it shortly. But I think, uh, I think that's gonna be okay. And this is basically how it works is your exhaust is coming through into the turbo and then if it needs to release some um, it actually pushes up this valve that's inside there. I don't know if you can kind of see. It pushes up this valve and then it uh, releases gas out or releases, releases the exhaust out instead of into the turbo. So that is pretty much how it works and it's as simple as that. Okay so here's the two that were in there and like I said it says uh, these two together was 14 pounds. Uh, one was an eight and one was a six. I'm assuming just pushing it on this feels this is definitely stronger than this one. So this is probably the eight one. So this is probably the one I'm going to use. And then there's two other ones that came with it. This one's really easy. So maybe this is something like a three or a four um, spring there. And then this one's a little stiffer than that. So who knows? That's probably, maybe that's a 10. I don't know. But this is the one that I'm going to use. I believe this is going to be an eight. And then with my boost controller, like I said, I can add a couple more pounds if I need to, to get up to the 10. So I'm just going to go ahead, install this spring in there put the top back on, screw it in, and um, install it in the car. All right, put the spring in here. Put this in here, actually. Shut lines up. You know, make sure these holes line up. All right, so I got three in there. Tighten down pretty good. Now these ones are gonna be nice and easy. All right, here we got the wastegate, the old one I gotta take off. It's pretty, uh, well, hopefully fairly simple. Just gotta disconnect these two vacuum lines, one on the side here, one on the top. Disconnect these clamps. There's actually one on the side and then one on the bottom. Uh, and to do that, the first thing I could do is remove this um, cover for the or the heat shield for the turbo to give me some room to get under there. All right, now I got at least a little bit of room for this uh, this one on the bottom down here. That's actually going to be probably the hardest one to get to. Obviously, this top one's easy. Hopefully, these will just pull off easily as well, but I don't know. I don't want to break it, obviously. All right, after some finagling, I was actually able to take this top one off just by pulling on it. This one here is a lot more difficult, so I think I'm going to do is just remove the whole thing and that'll kind of straighten this line out uh, that's here. So hopefully I can just uh, pull it straight off without really tearing into it. I tried to get it off of there, but uh, it's much more difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen these clamps take this off and hopefully get this hose off of there. Alright, here's the first clamp. <clears throat> and I'll hopefully I can get the other one. All 
Alright, bottom clamp is off. So this should hopefully possibly come off of there. I should be able to take this uh, this hose off of here. All right, it's off. So now I just got to go ahead and put the uh, put the new one on. So the new wastegate is all installed. Uh, I must say it looks pretty good, and let's check it out. So here it is, and I think it looks great. I love how the color red matches. Well, almost matches the rest of the uh, red that's in here as well. I did end up changing these little um, hose clamps or hose, whatever you want to call them. And I turned this one to this side. It used to be on the back back here, which is a pain in the neck to get to. Change it to this side. I end up cutting this hose a little bit just to make room for it. And I have the uh, heat shield back on. So everything looks good. Everything's buttoned up. And what I need to do now is I'm actually going to contact my um, uh, tuner and let them know this is all fixed and see if we need to do any kind of a additional tune or something like that to, uh, to make room for it. To, make adjustments for it. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you learned a little bit something about wastegates. I know I didn't get into all the details on how they work and, and things like that, but at least I showed you how to take one off uh, and changing the springs and things. So if you do have one like this, hopefully this was beneficial for you. If so, please smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that little notification bell, uh, let you know whenever I come up with some new videos. And be sure to check out my website, uh, mikeshouseofmods.com. We can pick up some really cool uh, apparel and uh, cups and mugs and things like that. So uh, that is going to be it for me, and I'll see you in the next video.